Mona El Tahawi is among those who have been on the streets in Cairo. You might remember the Egyptian American as an activist and analyst who's appeared on the CBC in the past. Earlier this week, she was brutally beaten and sexually assaulted while covering the protests in Tahrir Square. Wearing casts protecting her broken bones, she spoke with our Carolyn Dunn about her terrifying ordeal. Out of the blue, the riot police came up. I didn't see them coming. So the people around me who did see them coming managed to escape. I found out later that they'd arrested an activist that I was there with. And basically it was just myself and the riot police. They cornered me, so I couldn't get away. So it was four or five riot police, and they just rained their blows down on me. They're huge sticks. They're just everywhere. I mean, I'm just still discovering bruises on my body. Inside the no man's land, between where the protests ended and where the security was, that's when a sexual assault happened. And that's something that is directed at women. Hands everywhere. They broke my breasts. There were hands between my legs. All while they were beating me. And hands trying to get into my trousers. I had to take hands out from inside my trousers, putting my hair, calling me a whore. At one point I fell to the ground and I thought, if I don't get up, I'm going to die or they're going to rape me. Because if they all just jump on me, I'm done. So why come out and tell your story so publicly then? For the average Egyptian who does not have my privilege, who doesn't have my background, who doesn't have my media voice, who doesn't have my name, they disappear in this country and no one knows what's happened to them. What happened to me is minuscule compared to what happens to them. If I was a poor woman from a working class neighborhood, I would have disappeared and no one would have known who I was. So what I'm doing is I'm highlighting the brutality that continues nine months after we got rid of Hosni Mubarak, and it's that brutality that was a catalyst to our revolution. There's been a lot of speculation about whether the elections are actually going to go ahead on Monday. Do you think they will and should they? It's really difficult for me to see how it's going to happen, but it might happen because, you know, we've had a very difficult week in Egypt. People are saying, even Tahir, they said, if the elections happen, we will go and vote. There is, there is a group of people that wants to boycott, but I'm hearing most people will vote. You stand here with two casts on your arms, um, bruises on your body, and having been violated. How do you continue to have hope for this country? The people who violated me and the people who put my hand and my arm in a cast are not the Egypt that I love. They represent the Egypt that we staged our revolution against. When I went to Tahrir with my cast like this, and people recognized me because I've been on Egyptian television, they showed me an incredible shower of love and support. People were kissing my forehead, people were signing my, my cast with messages of love and support from Tahir. People were saying, get better soon, we will win, we will defeat the people who did this to you. That is the Egypt that I love.